Here we go. Uh, we look at a story of bravery. Firefighting is, of course, something uh, you want to get into without some courage and care for the good of the public. But a fireman in the central city of Wuhan has taken his job to a, a new level by carrying a burning gas tank with flames shooting out beside his head as he moved it from the scene. A reporter, Hu Jun, has the story. Time was not on the firefighter's side. With flames right in his face, carrying a badly damaged gas tank that looked ready to explode any time. The firefighter in the video looked calm and composed. At least calmer than when he gave this interview. I just carry the tank like I would carry any other tanks. Yeah, there were fire coming out the top, but I didn't think too much about it. There was a bit of wind and the fire brushed against my face. It kind of feel like how I'm blushing while you interview me. Though Huang Pu didn't think it was a big deal, that's not the case for the tens of thousands of netizens who have seen this picture. An outpouring of support and applause, not just for Huang Pu, but the firefighter community followed. And when people got wind of Huang Pu's single status, many just couldn't resist the idea of him being the white knight in shining armor. After interviewing Huang Pu and his colleagues, we got to know that life or death situations are the norm rather than the exception when it comes to fighting fires. Whenever we encounter situations where gas tanks catch on fire, we always carry them out of the sea immediately in order to prevent further damages to people's lives and property. We asked Huang Pu now looking back whether he would do it again. Well, let's just say it shouldn't even be a question. Of course, I would do it again, not only because I am a fireman, it's instinct. Even if I don't do it, I believe all this well. When I can save lives, I will and must do it. It's back to work for Huang Pu and his colleagues, but now he has the prayers, blessings and appreciation of many more people all across the country. Wu Hajun, CCTV.